Good morning Vlogmas. Sorry if it's a bit noisy in the background, the cats are a bit bonkers at the moment. Um, so it is Monday, it is the 19th of December, it is definitely Christmas week now. Um, I haven't recorded Saturday and Sunday this week. Saturday I was um, finishing up work for the year, doing the last of the photo shoots. And on Sunday I just wanted a complete day off everything. So that's what I did. So today is Monday and Mum usually comes through on Monday but she's not coming through today, she's coming through tomorrow this week. So that means I get to have a bonus Sunday. And Richard's coming over and I'm going to cook a roast and it'll, yeah, just a really nice relaxing day. It's going to be lovely. But I thought I'd put the camera on the tripod so I've got my hands free and I can actually show you what I've been working on. I know it's only been a couple of days but I had a lot of knitting time yesterday. So, excuse the mess, but yeah. So, starting off with my Christmas jumper. This is what I want to wear on Christmas Day. Um, it is the Winter Soul by Jennifer Steingast. I will put all the information on the screen and all the information will also be in the description box below. I'm trying to link every pattern I talk about, but if I miss anything and you want to know about it, just send me, just put, just, but if I miss anything and you want to know about it, just um, leave me a comment and I'll, I'll pop it in there. So yeah, this is the Vintasol and I'm at the point now where I have one sleeve done. I finished a sleeve yesterday. I have picked up for the second sleeve and um, I'm just about to start the decrease on that. This is my plan for my morning knitting because when I'm just going round and round on the sleeves I can read my book and it's amazing. Knitting and reading is honestly my new favourite thing. I've nearly finished the next Robin Hobb book that I just started the other day because I'm just like whizzing through it while I'm reading and I'm also whizzing through my knitting so it's just bonus all, way, all round. So yeah, second sleeve is on the way. The body I have put on, it's still got the needles attached, I've just got a, a stopper so they don't go anywhere. Um, and the reason I stopped the body was one, I wasn't 100% sure how much yarn I had. I've got plenty, it's absolutely fine. But also I wasn't 100% sure how long I wanted it. And the other reason was because um, I think I've got about another inch of the blue to go and then it goes into this colour work pattern that's on the cuffs. Um, and I can't really do colour work while I've been reading my book. So, so yeah, I've got one sleeve to finish and then the rest of the body. Um, so I'm fairly confident this will be finished in time for me to wear on Christmas Day. It's going to take some creative blocking to get it dry for Sunday. But yeah, I'm, I'm really pleased with this. My other Christmas jumper, is that in here? which is this one, which you haven't really seen much of since the start of Vlogmas. Um, this started off as the Festive Yoke Sweater by Skein Deer, but because I've gone for quite a low contrast and because the grey is a tweedy yarn, it's really difficult to see the small motifs. So then I started making my own motifs up. Motifs, that's getting a bit... Um, and I'm just not 100% happy with it because I've sort of hodgepodged it all together. Um, so I am actually going to frog this and um, I'm probably going to re-knit it very similar but I'm actually going to use a proper pattern rather than this sort of mishmash of I'm not 100% sure what I'm doing or what I'm doing. But it, this Tweedy yarn might not be used for a Christmas jumper, it might be used with a darker colour work and I'm going to use the natural with the floof for a different Christmas jumper. Probably another one of the Jennifer Steingast ones because I got all three of those patterns. So yeah, that is getting frogged but it is going but not being forgotten. It's going to be repurposed probably fairly quickly. I cast on Mum's Christmas socks. Um, these are being knit in beehive yarns 
um, and the colourway is so a nice. And this was the yarn that Mum picked as the eye cord edging for her mitered square blanket. I put a picture of her blanket here. Um, and what was left from that 100 gram skein, I said I'd make her a pair of Christmas socks with. So I'm just doing the Hermione's Everyday pattern because I know she really likes that pattern. Um, and it's easy to remember and it gives a lovely, lovely texture to it. This yarn is absolutely beautiful. Uh, the colours in it are lovely. It's got a sort of pale blue base and then it's got pops of all different colours. Um, and I'm fairly in love with these and don't at the moment want to part with them. But they are Mum's Christmas socks, so I'll get going. This morning I've just um, turned the heel and started the decreases. So that's nice and easy knitting on the go to be getting on with. Fairly sure I showed you this one. This is um, my sister's partner, Ross's hat. So it's the, oh, what was the hat pattern called? Um, I'll pop it on, to, was it the port, Porsche, Porter, Porter hat, something like that, maybe. It's a one by one ribbed beanie and it's by Yusolda Teague. Yes. Um, and I've just done it in black. I did it with the um, Drops Extra Fine Merino. So it's really soft and it's got lovely stitch definition. It is covered in cat hair and I haven't blocked it yet. So that's on the list of things to do to de-cat hair it and uh, block it. Probably going to have a big blocking section at some point. Right, what else am I actually working on at the moment? I'm surrounded by projects. In this bag, I have my advent socks. Which I haven't worked on today yet, so I'm a stripe behind. But other than that, they're exactly in the same place. So they've got heels in. And I've done up to stripe 18 on these had a few people asking about the pattern that I'm using for these. There isn't a pattern. Um, it's a basic vanilla toe-up sock. Um, I used the heel from my sock pattern, which is the dimension sock, so I'll put a link to that in the uh, description. It's a really nice short, it's kind of like a short row heel, but there's no wraps and turns or picking up or stuff like that. It's done with yarn over, it's really good. And um, yeah, so that's my short row heel that I really enjoy. Um, so yeah, this is the yarn from the Yarn Badger and it's a 24 stripe sub-striping yarn. I'm really, really enjoying the colours of this this year. Very, very nice. Finally, I have a new cast on which is nearly finished. So I cast this on on Saturday evening. It's another hot water bottle cover, but it's stranded colour work. And this is a free pattern by Marie Wallen. Again, all details will be on the screen. Um, and it's an all over colour work. And um, it's just lovely. Um, I cast this on to be a present for my older sister, Jen. And I don't know if I can part with it. I currently have two hot water bottle covers to make, one of which is for me and one of which is for my sister. My other sister got hers for her birthday. Um, so I don't know if I can part with this one and she might get the next one I make. So the next one I make was going to be in hand spun. So I'm, yeah, I'm a bit perplexed, but I don't, I don't, I don't think I can part with this. So yarn for this is Drops Lima for the cream and the grey is Willow and Lark and it's the poetry base which is which has some camel in it and it's the softest 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 it's um it's a two ply high twist which is one of my favorite type of bases and the stitch definition for color work is just amazing there's some really long floats in this which were a bit mm, tedious but I think with a bit of blocking it's going to look amazing. So I've actually finished all the colour work and now I just have to do the spout bit for the hot water bottle. I do have the hot water bottle here. So, you can see. so it just needs to do the spout bit which 
in the pattern is done in a moss stitch or seed stitch and I was debating whether I could be bothered to do that because that's a lot of one by one rib basically again um but I have decided to do it because the way this one works it's not got like a ribbing at the top it's got a frill so to speak so you're gonna knit the moss stitch and then it gets pulled in with the drawstring which has got these really little cute crochet motifs hanging off the chain and I really like that so um yeah I'm gonna do it in the moss stitch because I think if it was just done in stocking stitch it would not it wouldn't be as stiff the fabric wouldn't be as stiff so you wouldn't get that nice crisp frill so I think the raw stitch is there for a reason so I'm gonna do it but yeah I don't know I really enjoyed knitting this but it's not one I don't so I really did enjoy knitting this but I don't 100% know if I'd go and cast on another straight away I, I would knit it again it's lovely and for a free pattern it's absolutely amazing um but yeah, I think this one might have to be mine. But yeah, other than my mitered square blanket, that is all I am knitting at the moment. I think it's I think it's okay. Um but yeah. So what else do I have to tell you? Spinning, I am on to the last bobbin of the tandem spin. So that's all on track to be finished by Christmas Eve so that I can start spinning my Christmas Eve cast on box from Wonderful Wool. I got a fibre box from Wonderful Wool so that I have a Christmas Eve spin. I started planning for the channel for next year and what we're going to be doing but I'll talk about that another time. Um, yeah. I'm just so relieved that work is finished for the year and I can just have a couple of weeks of just pottering and tidying the house and crafting whatever I want and doing whatever I want and yeah the relief is clear. So, um, plans for today, I am cooking a roast, Richard's coming over They'll be spinning, they'll be knitting, I might do a bit of baking. I knit, I baked some ginger cookies yesterday. They smell amazing, I don't think you can see them. Most of them have gone. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to perfect my ginger cookie recipe and um, I might give that another go this morning while it's still fresh in my mind. And um, yeah, just prep all the things for the meal later and uh, generally have a nice relaxing day. So yeah, I'm gonna do my advents and get my uh, advent socks on. Socks for today are a DK pair of socks and I think these are my only DK Christmas socks so I need to rectify that because these are toasty warm. Um, the yarn for these, I can't 100% remember where it's from um, I know I. it was one of the first pairs of socks I made for this box. The pattern is the Choose Your House Socks by Kay Jones of the Bakery Bears. Um, this yarn pulled, but I, I genuinely don't mind that. I think it looks really pretty. So yeah, the pattern is sort of part candy cane and part sort of sugar plum fairy, I think. That might have been something like the name. Um, or was it... Mrs. Claus and the something. Don't know. I could be forever trying to think it. I might have a look at old podcasts and see if I can find actually knitting these. It will, they probably will have been from a very early podcast. Um, but yeah, I definitely need some more DK socks in the Christmas box. So yeah, these are knit to the pattern. So it's top down. They've got a heel, heel flap and gusset. And... I think it was Kay's umbrella toe, which is, yeah, just a sort of round decreases. I think these socks were before I knew how to do Kitchener Stitch. Oh, back in the days. As a young girl, it feels worse. We 
played hide and seek for hours, raised our shadows among the pines. So offshore, playful and free, without a care in the world. I was one rich little girl, daydreamer, kidnap me, take me back all the way back. to 